Hi, everybody. It's Olivia with Freedom at the Mat. I would like for you right now, I know you guys don't get a lot of time to yourselves. If you can just ground yourself and center your spirit for about two to three more minutes, I invite you to either close your eyes or find something in front of you on the floor that is unmoving to slow, lower your eyelids. Connect with your breath. Take in the fragrances that may be around you. Take in any ambient noise that may be around you, whether it's a bird, whether it is your children playing in the next room, perhaps it's a television far off, but for right now, just center yourself in the, the now of this moment, which is never going to happen again. And what I want you to do is simply breathe with me for two rounds of four, two, four, just to kind of get us really rooted in this moment. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for two. Exhale, four, three, two, one. One more. Inhale, one, two, three, four. Hold for two. Exhale, four, three, two. Staying in this moment right now. Nothing else matters but this moment. As you begin to lay the foundation for a wonderful year ahead, I invite you to call to four. What is it that you want to manifest in this life? Trusting yourself, trusting God, and trusting the power of creation. You may not see it. You may not believe it right now. But I want you just to say it, cement it right now in your spirit. Call it to four. What is it that you really want? Your deepest heart's desire. I'm going to do it as well. Continue your breathing. Don't think about how it's going to happen. Don't think about when it's going to happen. Don't think about if it's going to happen. Right now, our only assignment is to call to the forefront of our minds that which we really want to happen. And now, as Lisa was saying, how can you begin to embody this actually happening every single day? If you wanna go back and complete your education, what steps can you be actively consciously taking every day that will help that manifest itself. If you're wanting a partner like I do, like Lisa does, how can we begin to embody what partnership means and looks like today? If there is some relationship that you want healed, what can you do in your spirit, is there some reconciliation in your spirit that has to happen first in order for you to manifest the reality of what you'd like that relationship to look like? And anything else that you want to manifest, can you set your beliefs right now on the notion, on the concept that it is possible? Releasing any negative thoughts around your past. Releasing any negative thoughts around what someone else told you could or could not happen in your life. Mm. 
Continue to remind yourself, as Lisa invited us to, that you are the most valuable person on the planet. And you are worthy. May God be with you. Namaste.